Hello everyone, in this clip we're going to go ahead and create the con our arm control curves. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and take a moment and make a correction. These two controls are not parented properly, and what do I mean by that? Well, right now, if I move, if I rotate my center hip, the hip's not going to really rotate. In order for it to rotate, these two controls have to be under that center hip control. Now the hips will rotate properly. All right, awesome. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and create my clavicle control. And so I'm going to grab my collar, the collar joint, and I'm going to bring up my control creator. And I'm going to call this gruff underscore LF underscore collar underscore CTRL. I'm going to leave it blue, no attributes. I'm going to make, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in X, and that's going to have it facing front. And then I'm going to give it a 7 by 7 by 7 scale, and I'm going to freeze my transformation. The freeze transformation really isn't all that important, but what is important is we want to create it selection. All right, so there it is. There's my controller. I'm going to go ahead and move it up and over my shoulder, and then I'm going to move it back so that it literally is over the shoulder. And that's going to make it a little easier to grab onto. I'm going to grab the control vertices, and I'm going to move this up like so to create a shape that is a little bit more distinctive than just a regular circle. The reason I'm going to do that is because my FK controls are circles, and this is, can be sometimes hard to distinguish. So I want to make sure that they're differentiated. I'm going to select it, and then I'm going to hold down the W key and then the D and the V, and I'm going to snap this to the collar joint itself. Okay, And then I'm going to freeze my transformation. And then I'm going to duplicate this control press by pressing Command D, and that's going to duplicate it. And I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to go over here and name it the right collar control. And I'm going to go to my component selection mode. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to select all of these points. And I'm going to move it over. I'm going to go to my front view so we can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to move it over so that it is about it's just basically symmetrical with uh, the left side. And this is a big, going to be a big controller. And I found the biggest problem with the clavicle controls, such as they are, is that they can get lost in the head very easily. So we make them larger so that they don't, don't get lost. Now, once I've moved it over, I've got to move my pivot point over. And I'm going to press D and V and snap it over to the right side. I've got no translate, so I'm basically good to go. Then the next thing I'm going to do, or the last thing I'm going to do with this control, is I'm going to go to my attribute editor and go down to the shape node and go to object display, over drawing overrides, enable the overrides, and move this over like, take it that nice bright red. Now, that's our control. So I'm next thing I'm going to do is going to be a simple parent constraint. I'm going to grab, whoops, let me take that. I'm going to grab my left control, grab my left collar, hold down the shift key and have my left collar. That has to be selected last. And I'm going to go to Parent Constraint Options. Okay, now in an earlier, uh, I think earlier on today I was using this, and I had changed the weight to zero for a reason. And so I'm going to change that back to one. And then I'm going to click Apply. Okay, now that means the rotates and the translates are constrained, and we can now rotate that collar control using this control. I'm going to do the same thing with the right side. Click Apply. And there we go. So now with the trunk of the body done, basically, with the spine and the legs and everything else done, I want to move on, and in the next module, we'll go on to rig the arms and hands.